Challenge number six, public-private partnership. For any country to be successful in education, the government cannot do it alone. There has to be public-private partnership. So let's take a look at what initiatives have been taken. Public policy has been amended to mobilize the private sector and civil society organizations in the financing, management and delivery of education services in Pakistan. The government has seen the need with the myriads of government schools lying waste. It has seen the need to involve the private sector and civil service organizations into running, financing and managing the schools together with delivering quality education to the students who come there. This public-private partnership is a major challenge because when public or schools are handed over to private institutions or organizations, then monitoring is critical as well. The Community Supported Rural Schools Program encourages education in rural areas. Currently, there are 610 schools running with an enrollment of 23,300 students there. Because schools in the rural areas were sparse, it was seen as a need to increase the number of schools in the rural areas, especially for girls so that parents would allow their girls to go to schools near their homes. Seventy schools have been adopted by the corporate sector. The corporate financial sector of Pakistan has taken over 70 schools, taken over the running, the management, the financing, and the education aspect of those schools. In other words, public-private partnership has begun. It has to be sustained. It has to be continued so that other corporate sector organizations will come in and take over more schools also. 10,000 teachers trained in IT by Intel Corporation and building ICT lab infrastructures for teachers training by Microsoft. So two giants in the computer world, Intel and Microsoft, have come forward, helped us, one in terms of teacher training, one in terms of setting up the ICT labs in certain schools. With these facilities, because computer is becoming more and more indispensable, in life in the 21st century. These are steps in the right direction where public and private sectors have partnered together to help change the future of our young children and make it better. Challenge 7. Rampant unemployment among the educated youth. Young people that are educated are not finding jobs. This is a challenge. A major challenge to any government and especially in Pakistan our young people with education are not getting jobs forget good jobs are not getting jobs there has been a greater increase in facilities for general education as compared to technical and vocational education general education has been stressed but what about technical education and vocational education those areas need to be looked at also because that's where the jobs are today. But without the right qualifications, people don't get those jobs and positions stay vacant. So looking at all three aspects of education, the general, the technical and the vocational is extremely important if a country is to progress and young people are to find jobs after enrollment. The government will need to step in and make certain that young people with degrees and qualifications getting out of colleges and un universities have job openings for themselves. Otherwise, getting an education will be seen as a fruitless activity. Graduates with general qualification looking for employment in the white-collar sector is beyond the absorption capacity in these fields. Now, any nation or any country can take in so many doctors or engineers or architects or nurses, and after that, there is a surplus, and the surplus has to do something else. So the government needs to focus on, do an analysis of what the country needs and make sure that is the education we channel young people through. After all, areas will become saturated 
and you cannot just take in more and more and more people because if you do that, salaries will drop. When salaries drop, the payment for education is not seen as rewarding enough in terms of salaries years later. Not a good thing. What initiatives have taken place? Plan to broaden the base for technical and vocational education through introduction of technical stream in the secondary school curriculum. And we see that at the intermediate level where students come out with the technical stream where there are chances of getting jobs and a salary once you're done with your degree and so that one thing is in line has been working for a few years and hopefully if it continues it will sustain these students through to a good job a comprehensive plan for vocational and technical education in major towns now, coming out of the rural areas into the towns and cities, that's also where vocational and technical education are needed. And so an emphasis on planning that is important. Involvement of industry to set up technical training institutes, getting hands-on experience with the real life of the job market. Industries should come forward and help. Teaching of science subjects in English in Urdu medium schools is also part of the reform process because science is such a technical subject that unless you get the language right you may not get the meaning right and so teaching science in English was seen as a step in the right direction also at the time 